Welcome to your Go Market Update charts of the day for today, the 18th of January. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Across the news, we saw US markets continuing to look weaker again. Bears very much in control with decliners outweighing advances, just under 4 to 1 ratio to remain generally pessimistic. It's going to take some good earnings to change that mood, I would suggest. US futures are slightly lower in Asian trading. Asian markets are mixed. The Shanghai and the ASX are the two underperformers. ASX down around 0.5% with all sectors to the downside. European futures are also pointing to another cautious open this afternoon. So it doesn't yet look as though there's much to lift market mood. And that was probably contributed to by hotter than expected inflation numbers out of the UK yesterday. US dollar did edge higher. Uh, they'll give up its early gains towards the end of the session. And as we say, we saw strength in the GB pound. Gold breached 2030 support and is trading at five week lows around 2010. Although we are seeing some buying coming in today in Asia, perhaps a little bit of profit taking after the last couple of days of down movements. Copper is holding support at early December lows. And again, it's slightly to the upside. It all edged higher, but still trading mid range. Bitcoin held above that 42,000 support despite a slightly weaker session yesterday. Three neutral today at this stage. The ASX weakness is partly due to the Australian jobs numbers being weaker than expected. And Japanese industrial production is also out, as well as weekly jobs and manufacturing data out of the US later on today. Once again, company reports are going to be scrutinized, and not only in terms of what's happened, but their projections going forward. Well, charts the core are right today. Uh, we're going to start in the FX world with the Euro Aussie on the hourly chart. You can see we've got an interesting price move uh, just over 166.25. It's traded beneath this, with the exception of this long candle here. It was as a result of that soft jobs data. So we saw a spike in the euro, came back down within this short term range. But you can see there, it is looking almost like an ascending triangle. But now we've got a breach of 166.25. Wouldn't be surprised to see it come up and test 166.70 to retest that spike high from earlier in the session. On the ASX, we are liking BLD, Boral Limited. Uh, put it on the weekly chart just so you can see context here. So we breached this level here at 506 uh, and appear to have paused on the weekly chart around this 541 level. If you look at the daily chart, you can see there's the pullback there after testing this one. So we're looking for a breach of 546 to suggest trend continuation here. It's going to give us a nice line in the sand as well in terms of potential stop loss placement. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.